What's up guys? With fall fishing coming around the corner, I just want to share a couple of tips that can possibly help you put more fish into your kayak. Focus on larger lakes and canals. Those large lakes and canals are going to have diving birds that's diving for shrimp. Underneath those shrimp, you can find speckled trout and redfish. Now for redfish, I like to focus on the banks. On the banks of those canals and those lakes, you can find a lot of schooling redfish chasing bait. Now, crankbaits are used to catch many different types of fish. I like to use them to catch speckled trout and redfish. Um, my favorite type of crankbait is a subsurface crankbait. Living Salois makes a good one called the Bull Nose Crankbait. Also, you can find one at Bass Pro Shops. They come in different sizes, different colors, and they all work very, very well. So pick you up some subsurface lures. They work just as great as top water, and you're definitely gonna have some great results. Now, another style of crankbait that works very good in the fall and winter time is a lipless crankbait. Livingston Lures makes one called the Pro Ripper. Um, this Pro Ripper has caught many a speckled trout uh, for me in my time. Um, the Pro Ripper is definitely, definitely a good lipless crankbait to use in the fall and winter time. Now underneath these diving birds, we talked about schooling fish, schooling trout, schooling redfish. A lot of people wonder, what do you throw under those birds? Well, get you a four horseman popping cork, tie on about a 12 inch leader with a 1 8 ounce jig head attached to that you can put a shrimp cocktail vortex shad. This is a very very good shrimp imitation that I've been using for a long time and it works very very well. You can also throw one of my favorites um, this 3 inch swim shad by Tsunami. Um, it's, the color is Golden Bunker. Um, Golden Bunker is my favorite swim bait um, to throw made by Tsunami. So um, it, it has produced a lot of trout, a lot of redfish, and it's definitely a color and a lure that I recommend. So I hope those tips can help you put more fish into your kayak this fall and winter. And until next time, tight lines and God bless.